This is the radiation log of an intercontinental flight. Right now we're on the ground as you can see and the background radiation is absolutely normal, about 0.9 microsieverts per hour. And as we gain altitude the radiation levels still stay normal for quite a long time. But then they suddenly rise and rise. And as we're nearing about 6.5 kilometers altitude, you can see that we've got a significant increase in radiation levels around here. And as we gain even more altitude towards cruise altitude of about 9 to 10 kilometers, you can see the radiation levels further increase. These levels of radiation are uh, due to cosmic radiation, which is normally largely shielded by our atmosphere. Um, the amount of radiation you're exposed to during any flight, especially intercontinental flights, which are usually at a very high cruise altitude, depend on solar activity as well, very much so. Solar activity was normal when I recorded this. And as you can see, at this altitude we're getting about 2 microsieverts per hour. This is over Greenland, so near the poles, where uh, the activity will be higher. Those rate will be higher. Uh, we're nearing the west coast of the USA. More than, well, depends where you are, but more than 20 times normal according to when we were on the ground. So, yeah, quite a lot. Here's a cool phenomenon called a plane glory that is produced by light being backscattered from the clouds towards the viewer. Well, and now we're returning to normal radiation levels. Approaching destination. So here's the graph of that flight. I had the Gamma Scout set to log minutely which didn't provide uh, a fine enough resolution, I believe, so for the return flight I actually set the Gamma Scout to log every 10 seconds, which we can see here. Background radiation was about 5 impulses for 10 seconds. Uh, the initial plateau at 10 km cruise height was about 60 impulses average for 10 seconds, and at 11 km uh, over Greenland we had an, about 70 impulses for 10 seconds. So that's quite a lot of an increase, as you can see. Here's a closer look at ascending again. You can see how radiation levels increase with increasing altitude and decrease again as we're descending and landing. What was also pretty awesome is that I was in the land of the midnight sun, so, well, the sun never fully descended, it always stayed about like this. And I got to see Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, uh, which were too dark to record on video, but I took a few photos, as you can see here. A very dark auroral circle, like a little auroral glow there, just over the wing on the right. And here's the brightest shot I took. That was really good, really bright. 15 seconds exposure, by the way. Well, I hope you enjoyed.